everyone, my name is Kim from the North Carolina Arboretum. I'm here today to share some information about the Eco Explore Wildflower Badge. But first, I want to give a warm welcome to our new Eco Explorers. Eco Explore is a program where you can help scientists and earn badges and prizes just by taking pictures of the wildlife right outside your front door. You can learn more at our website, ecoexplore.net, and make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for awesome science content. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a very special plant, the wildflower. Springtime is my favorite season of the year. The earth wakes up from its coldest, darkest season and gives us the most vibrant, bright, and herbaceous time of the year. As an old saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. There are so many different types of plants on earth, yet not all of them have flowers. In addition, for the plants that do flower, not all of them are even considered wildflowers. So what exactly is a wildflower? The first thing that I think of when I hear the word wildflower is the word wild. Something that's wild would be considered not domestic or cultivated. So a wildflower then must be a plant that's flowering that is not grown intentionally, like in a garden or in a yard. The other thing that stands out to me in the word wildflower is the word flower. Flowering of plants account for 80% of the plant kingdom. The flower is one of the greatest inventions nature has ever made. They can be bright, showy, and flashy. Or tiny, hidden, and camouflaged. They can have amazing floral scents like honeysuckle. Or they can smell rotten like trilliums. Regardless, flowers turn into fruit, and fruit are important because they contain future plant generations, seeds, and seeds then turn into seedlings, and thus the cycle of life keeps turning. What a beautiful wildflower. I wonder who this is. We'll need this to help us figure out who our wildflower is. Field guides can be especially useful to help you identify your wildflowers because they can tell you information such as when your wildflower will be blooming and where your plant's range is. When trying to identify your wildflower, take some notes of the following information. Is your flower a typical flower shape like a fleabane daisy? Or does it have a funky shape like a violet? How many petals, sepals, pistils, stamen are on your flower? Is your flower solitary, like bloodroot? Are there multiple flowers on the same plant, like a jewelweed? What do your wildflower's leaves look like? Are they jagged, like a dandelion? Or are they feathery, like yarrow? What are the stems like? Are they woody, like forsythia? Or are they herbaceous, like a daffodil? Let's see who our wildflower is. Looks like we have a low growing wildflower with a square shaped stem, opposite face and leaves, and a bunch of pinkish purple tubular flowers clustered at the top. You know, I bet this is dead nettle. Different types of wildflowers will need different types of environmental factors. The different combination of location, water, sunlight, soil, and plant competition will determine what kind of wildflower will grow. Remember, wildflowers are all over the place and you'll be surprised just when you start looking how many you'll find. Some fun places I like to find wildflowers are in open fields, the forest, on hikes, or even growing between the cracks of a sidewalk. Just remember, not all flowers are big and flashy. Some are teeny tiny. Some blend in with their environment really well. They blend in so well that you'll feel like a pirate finding gold when you see it. Or what about the wildflower featured on Eco Explore's wildflower badge? Do you have any guesses as to what it could be? If you said trillium, you are correct. Trilliums have a distinct three sepal, three petal floral shape. North Carolina also has the fire pink, 
beach blanket flower, wood sorrel, jack in the pulpit, swamp rose, bird foot violet, and a coney bells. North Carolina has no shortage of impressive representatives from the orchid family. In fact, one of my favorite wildflowers comes from this group. It's the pink lady slipper orchid. They can be found all over North Carolina and sometimes I like to imagine if fairies would like to wear them if they were a real slipper. Thank you so much for joining me on this wild wildflower adventure. To earn your wildflower badge, make sure you complete three out of the four wildflower challenges on our website and submit six wildflower photos to your Eco Explorer dashboard. For more information, visit us at ecoexplore.net. And good luck, have fun, and keep exploring.